Hello guys, I'm going to overclock Intel Core i5-8400. This is a lock processor, so you cannot overclock it the way you overclock any other processors like 8700 or 8600K. Uh, because the multiplier ratio or core ratio is uh, locked for this processor. The way I'm going to overclock this processor is a method called BCLK overclocking. The board I am using for this overclocking is uh, Gigabyte Z370 HD3. The procedure for overclocking on other motherboards like uh, ASUS or ASRock should be same. Okay, before overclocking, I am going to show you that it's actually running at 3.9 GHz when all the 6 cores are being used. For this test, I am going to use um, CPU Jet stress test. I am going to stress the CPU. Uh, as you can see, all the CP all the cores are being used 100% and uh, CPU frequency is 3.9 gigahertz it's also showing in IDA64 that it's uh, 3.9 gigahertz for overclocking first boot up into the BIOS and the BIOS screen should look like this uh, for gigabyte BIOS then go to advanced option or classic options uh, from classic options, uh, first go to save and exit and load optimized default settings. Then come back to MIT tab and go to advanced frequency setting. Advanced frequency setting. Then go to um, CPU base clock or or host clock. Initially it is set to 100 megahertz. Uh, this is also called BCL LK clock you have to change it higher than 100 but you cannot set it to like 200 or something like that it has limits for lock processors uh, I think coffee lock, lock processors can go up to 103 uh, it might not work for you uh, uh, you might have to set it to something like 102.78 or 8 102.8 or 99 or something like that or uh, change it this is the main basic part of the overclocking then change the enhance multi-core performance option to enabled then change the cpu core ratio to 40 this is uh, as high as you can go since this is a lock processor then go to advanced cpu core setting uh, turn off the turbo boost uh, for my case it helps me you can leave it on if you want and this is the important part if you have a memory uh, which is which runs at uh, 3200 MHz when you are setting this to 103 instead of 100 this memory will not run at 3200 MHz it will run higher than 3200 MHz so uh, in your exa if your memory doesn't support that frequency your PC won't boot up uh, try different XMP options like profile 1 profile 2 and see which one works I did it manually um, my uh, RAM actually runs at uh, 2400 MHz but I set it, I overclocked it and set it to 15.33 that means it used to run 1533 megahertz but it's now running at 16.08 because of host clock overclocking so this is important test it which one works for you if you set this option manual you have to set the timing option manually so you have to go back and go to memory settings advanced memory settings then timing mode to manual set the timing memory timing mode to manual then change the in channel intervaling this uh, set this option to enabled okay rank intervaling enabled then go to channel a b memory subsetting uh, uh, sub timing and use your timing of your ram for my case 15 15 and 35 then go to save and exit option save the settings and restart you should be able to get your processor to 3.9 gigahertz uh, so that's it <coughs> let me kill this guy before
Okay, as you can see, it's running at 3.9 gigahertz uh, on Assassin's Creed Unity. As you can see, in my game, uh, it's running at uh, 3.9 gigahertz, all six codes. So yeah, this is how can you overclock uh, Core i5 to 3.9 gigahertz. Okay, see you guys. This this was my first video, so. Uh, like and subscribe if you want uh, and see you next bye